If a small piece of bone is spotted on the surface, always assume that there's something bigger beneath and you approach it accordingly. I'm Mark Graham and I'm the fossil preparator. I work in the conservation centre in the laboratory at the Natural History Museum and my job is to prepare fossils mainly for scientific study but also sometimes for exhibition. When you initially find a piece of bone, you want to mark it with a little flag to show that something's been found there. That way nobody's going to walk over it and do any damage. And then you use a series of tools really, so it might be that you start with a large spade and a, and a geological pick and then work your way down th through to smaller tools. So you're removing all of the sediments and the overlying rock piece by piece and very, very slowly. And you'll soon get an idea about whether you found a small piece of bone that might be a fragmentary piece, which we call float, or it might be that that's part of an associated animal, in which case you want to be very, very careful. Some of these bones, they might weigh a quarter, half a tonne sometimes, they really, really are heavy. But it can be the case that they've got fractures running through them. You can consolidate some of the smaller cracks. That means putting in a glue to try and hold it together. But the best thing to do if you've got anything that looks rather large, you need to get some kind of support material around it. We can create a plaster jacket, which is uh, strips of bandage, which we um, dip into plaster, put that over the bone, and then when we're confident that we can move it, we can then cut away that pedestal, carefully flip it over. Once these fossils are taken out of the rock and away from the quarry, they need to go back to a museum or a university where they've got a laboratory. The first job would be to remove that jacket really carefully. You'd be using cutters and uh, prising the jacket open. And then you set about removing the remaining rock from around the fossil. Then you build for it a support jacket and that enables that specimen to be handled and studied without doing any damage to it. 